It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Eric, dude, what's up? I look ridiculous in the fur coat, I know. Um, so how have you been? It is uh, Monday, I guess, December 16th, uh, roughly 7.15 p.m. Um, I haven't made a, a vlog in a while because uh, you hadn't had your laptop, but I understand you're getting a new one. Uh, so I'm resuming video communications. Um, it is currently freaking freezing. It's been snowing for about three weeks now. Um, it's it's not at this exact moment, which is is nice while I'm walking home. Um, typically, it is about well, right now it's minus 15. I guess in Fahrenheit, that's about five degrees. Um, but with the wind chill, it's 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 quite calm right now. Uh, but the winds with the wind chill factor, it's been on average about. Uh, what's well, it been about minus 23 or minus 24 which is something like minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit um, <laughs> oh, oh goodness anyways it's finally stopped snowing at least for a little while today um, anyways it's been a month so much has happened <laughs> I liked your last video it was very American of you oh my god it's a deer this is so cool I wish I had my gun <laughs> That was fantastic, by the way. Um, anyways, I'm hoping to hear back from you again soon as well. Um, so much to tell. Uh, so much has been going on lately. Um, I, I guess we've done away with the no text-based communications, and we've been communicating rather frequently um, with each other. Uh, so you kind of have some idea about what's been going on lately. Um, that's going to be awkward. I was walking quite close behind this couple. And, uh, because they heard me talking. <laughs> I'm really curious what they're doing behind me right now. But I think they got uneasy because I was walking so closely behind them. So they both top stopped, turned around, and just looked at me. Um, what's this car doing? Is he pulling out? You really always have to be careful because people will try to kill you any chance they get. Um, I don't mean, like, intentionally, but they're, especially in cars, they're awful drivers, just just awful. Whatever the worst place in the world is you've ever driven and thought it was the worst in the world, it's about a hundred times worse than that. <laughs> um, because in Russia you can pretty much buy any paper you work you want. Uh, you just bribe the right people, you can get whatever you need. So uh, you need a diploma but don't want to go to university? Pay for it, no problem. Just go to the dean and uh, give them some money and they'll print one off for you. Uh, you need a driver's license but don't want to take driving lessons because they're really, really, really freaking expensive. Uh, you, you're supposed to take driving lessons for like a year here. And they're really expensive. Anyways, you can just go to the office and just say, hey, I just want to buy my driver's license. No problem. So there's so many people that don't know how to drive. It's ridiculous. Can I cross right now? Yes, I can. Uh, in Russia, even... Yeah, this guy's going to hit me. Even if it says you can walk, doesn't mean they're going not going to drive right at the red light and kill you. Um... There's a lot of people now. Everyone's going to think I'm crazy walking down the street with a camcorder. Um, <laughs> especially because I've got the, view the, the viewer turned away from me, so people walking towards me can see that I'm recording myself. <laughs> this is fantastic. Um, I'm going to watch this when I get back home and, and see how many of these people uh, are walking behind me. Uh, as I walk past them, if any of them turn around and look at me. Um, anyways... Actually, the wind's not bad. I'm going to take this damned hood off. It's really just to keep my neck warm when it's when the wind's whipping around. Um, I would like to point something out to you. Uh, all up and down the streets are these white, blue, and red lights, of course, the colors of the Russian flag, and they run up and down both sides of every single street. Well, you'll see in just a minute uh, when I get up to... Um, uh, this is Nova Sadovaya, which is New Garden, not that that's in any way important or you care, but um, uh, my house is at the corner of Nova Sadovaya and, and Asipienko, which is, there's a big fountain outside my house, I showed you fountain, the name of the fountain is Asipienko. Going down that road, there are these huge, like every, every 10 meters, there's a big like white banner, blue banner, red banner, they're everywhere, that's fine. But <laughs> I love their system here because, like, I guess they just, why bother taking the lights down? We'll just leave them up all year. And so they leave these lights up, running up and down the streets the entire year round, and then they just turn them on in the winter. 
<laughs> so they're actually up the entire year. Um, I'm nearly home now. Uh, I've just left one of my lessons and uh, trying not to slide there's so much ice. Um, and so here in just a minute I'll be home. Uh, I've actually had installed uh, right outside my balcony a giant, well, firework explosion thing. It's just uh, one of these big, like, balls with lights running off of it. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But it looks like there's fireworks. And they, it, it, they leave it on all night. Um, <laughs> which I think is quite amusing because uh, right outside my window there's actually a park. It's a small park. It, it goes along with the fountain. Um, but it's... In, in Russia it's really kind of dangerous to go anywhere at night where there's not... It's not well lit. Even then you should never... You really should be in, inside after dark. It's just its just not safe here. Um, the same as any big city. I don't mean that to be as a, a Russia thing, just in, in any big city. Um, but um, anyways, at night, they turn these lights on uh, when the sun goes down. But then they turn them off again at like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock when they go, go to bed. And so it's, it's, everything is well lit. From, from like 6 o'clock until like 10 o'clock. And then, to save electricity, I guess, they turn the power off again at the end, at, you know, before they go to bed. And so the part goes dark again, and it becomes just as dangerous. It's, but they leave this firework display on. And so it's a, this, this lot of darkness with just this explosion now. So, <laughs> and I can see it from my window. I've got to close my curtains so the, the flashing lights don't come in at night. Um, anyways, uh, we'll be there in just a second. Um, I don't know how much you can see of what's going on behind me right now. Um, <laughs> I'm really curious if that kid has turned around and watching me. She was staring at me, walking up to me for like 20 meters. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'll be really excited when we start communication again. Uh, it's been, it's been ridiculous. I've, I've had a lot to talk about the past few weeks, um, that, even stuff I haven't told you yet. Um, so we'll see what happens. If this dog doesn't kill me. Um, also, I've decided I'm going to do a, uh, an American-style Christmas this year. I'm actually going to buy a Christmas tree. I'm going to decorate it, because my building is here. Uh, it's not here. It's actually on the other side of that building. Um... Oh, excuse me. But, uh, you see right in front of me, there's like a lot of Christmas trees. Actually, in the background, you can see a rocket ship. You've seen that before. Um, and then there's the fountain. But you can see the lights. There's like a, uh, a big red banner, a big white banner, and like there's another red one, blue, uh, going down the streets. I love it. It's very festive. But it also strikes me as very amusing that they just leave the lights up the entire year. Um, this is the first time I've seen the moon in at least a few weeks. Usually it's so cloudy that you can't see the sun during the day and you can't see the, the moon at night. And you can see the fireworks through the trees now as we approach my house. But this does this all night, every night. Which it looks really cool, that's nice and all, but it is kind of uh, obnoxious at 3 in the morning when you're trying to sleep. It's not even overly bright, but all of these lights, they all go off <laughs> at like 10 o'clock. Uh, so anyways, I just wanted you to see the fireworks display. I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, I hope to hear from you again uh, very soon. You said you I believe your laptop should be arriving today. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to uh, post a response sometime later this evening. And uh, we'll get caught up again. There's a lot to talk about. So, I hope you're doing well. It's been a long time. Love you. Talk to you soon.